Hi boys and girls, this is our second read aloud and this one is called Guacamole. This is our front cover, our back cover, we have our spine, we have our title, we have our author who is our Jorge Arrueta and illustrator Margarita Sada. And this one is an English and Spanish book. So this one is called Guacamole. Today I am going to make you guacamole. I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. Hmm, do y'all like avocados? I love them. They're really good. To make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as a four leaf clover. You need salt and that's all. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Let's see. First, put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I'm one as, and I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. She's so happy she's gonna make some guacamole for her, for her family, right? Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The, avoca the avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and can tell that they are soft and ripe with their shiny tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink and then, dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados. One by one, very slowly. Cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball. This one right here. Round as a small world, it's smooth and slippery like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. Have you ever seen a real avocado? Have you held it? Have you cut it in half? Have you seen this little ball? Take a spoon, not too big, not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados, but the green avocado flesh in your dish. Then the empty avocado skins look like wash molds. Don't throw them out, set them aside with the pits. Hmm, I wonder why. Now add salt. Not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salt, salty salt from my salt shaker. Salt go with, goes in fast. Now with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. 
Now take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to the take them over to bathe in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half carefully one by one. You're going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, and such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell smell makes my mouth water. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes, it stinks. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Oh, the sour river of lime smells so good as it falls on the green and green of the avocado. I laugh, I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh guacamole laughs. It looks pretty fun, huh? She's enjoying what she does. Little pearls that look like eyes with fall will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your finger with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. If your hands they feel like in your hands they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds in the avocado skins. Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it, sprinkle one more salt, and stir and stir around and around. Sing and dance, because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. Let's see what happens. Now everything is green and juicy and it's dished with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all those seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and, sit, and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so green and green, as pure as love. Did y'all like that book? I really liked it. She enjoyed the guacamole. It was a dish for her family. And I think it came out delicious. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.